USA Today, we have stories for you on how to prevent the flu because this year's flu season is one of the worst and it doesn't appear to be losing steam. But how do you know if it's a common cold or the flu? Just because you have a cough and you feel lousy doesn't necessarily mean that you have the flu. The common cold can pack a punch as well if your immune system isn't ready for it. So we want to go right to our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. He's uh, joining the conversation on this. All right, Dr. Nandy, what are the major differences between the cold and between the flu? important question, Joanne. So both are respiratory infections and both are caused by a virus. Each of them can cause a sore throat, runny nose, coughing, and head and, and body aches. But if your symptoms also include things like sneezing and watery eyes, it's likely that you have a common cold. Those are cold symptoms. If body aches are also accompanied by sore joints and muscles, however, it, or if your body temperature fluctuates from hot to cold and you have a high fever, then you may have the flu. It's the fever that's really the giveaway. You don't generally see someone with a cold who's also suffering from a 100 plus degree fever. All right, what about some prescriptions for viewers who are just not feeling 100% and they're wondering if they should go visit a doctor because of it? Absolutely, if you're one of the many people who's not feeling hot, so hot right now and wondering what's wrong, here are a few important things to keep in mind. Number one, if your symptoms come on gradually over a few days and are bearable, you may have a cold. It should clear up in seven to 10 days. Also, symptoms that come on suddenly and are accompanied by a high fever may mean the flu. Flu symptoms generally last anywhere from one to two weeks. Thirdly, if your symptoms are severe or if they last longer than usual, please see your doctor. She may prescribe antiviral medication. Remember, uh, antibiotics are, aren't effective in treating cold and the flu. And lastly, we've been talking about this, get lots, lots of rest and, and drink plenty of fluids and please stay away uh, from home or school until you're feeling better. Yeah, I know, people wanna get back if they're feeling even a little bit better, right? But not good, you don't wanna spread it. All right, how about any pointers for those who aren't sick and they're desperate to stay that way? Just like us do it, Joanne. So the right. best thing we can do during this horrific cold and flu season is to stay healthy. It's super important to keep your distance from people who might be sick, especially given recent reporting about how easy it is for the flu to spread through the air. Get the flu shot, please. Make sure you wash your hands often with soap and water, but also do things to keep your immune system healthy too. Eat plenty of fruits and veggies and get lots of sleep and force yourself to get some exercise even in the cold weather. Yeah, it's such so important that we do everything we can to stay healthy. Thank you so much, Dr. Nandy. And if you're sick, stay home, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. All right, we have an entire section on WXYZ.com dedicated to the flu. There you can find out how to protect yourself from the virus and find out if you're dealing with the common cold or flu symptoms. Very, very important. It certainly is. Let's turn our attention